One of British Columbia's highest profile Mounties is making serious allegations against some of her commanding officers. Catherine Galliford, who became known to Canadians coast to coast, spoke exclusively with CBC News, explaining her claim that she was sexually harassed on the job for years. Natalie Clancy has our story tonight. And I'm Constable Catherine Galliford with the RCMP. Whether it was telling the world a pig farmer was under arrest for killing women. On Tuesday night, Coquitlam RCMP arrested one male. Or being the first to reveal charges in Canada's worst mass murder. The Royal Canadian Mounted Police has laid charges in connection with the Air India bombing. Catherine Galliford was the face of the RCMP in BC for many years. But she says what reporters didn't know is what was going on away from the cameras. If I had a dime, for every time one of my bosses asked me to sit on his knee, I'd be on a yacht in the Bahamas right now. Thanks. Is this 91? Yep, 1991. Okay, but then, so that's Could our graduation. Galliford insists ever since she graduated in 1991, she faced sexual advances from some senior officers. Her harassment claim is laid out over 115 pages. The RCMP has yet to respond. He said to me once, I don't know what I like more about you, your eyes or your mouth. Come here, Kate, sit on my knee. She says a supervisor on the Missing Women's Task Force lied to colleagues saying that they were intimate. And she says he exposed himself to her. I said, let's go back to the office, we're late. Put it back in your pants. On the Air India Task Force, she says another supervisor was even more direct. But one of my bosses, who had been trying to be intimate with me <clears throat> throughout my time with Air India, and he kept on taking me on the road trying to have sex with me, I was going to people saying, we don't have any new information to share with the Air India family members right now, so why are we going? Like, why are we going on this trip? And no one said anything. But it was because he wanted to give the perception that we were a couple. Galliford says in the command and control structure of the RCMP, you do what you're told or you get in trouble. So she changed jobs. I started to normalize the harassment because I didn't know what else to do. And then it just got to the point after I had about 16 years of service that I broke, I completely broke. That's when she went from facing hundreds of reporters to joining the ranks of nearly 800 Mounties currently on sick leave. I've been off work for four years. I've been diagnosed with um, post-traumatic stress disorder, agoraphobia, am I pronouncing it correctly, and chemical dependency on occasion. I was drinking too much to try to bring myself down, and I'm not ashamed of that, by the way, because it's like walk a mile in my shoes. I don't think there's a female in the outfit that hasn't been uh, approached sexually. This police psychologist who knows Galliford says her deteriorating health has nothing to do with working multiple murder files and everything to do with who she worked for. The way her employer has handled it afterwards is likely to have had a greater effect on her present mental state than what she went through initially. The RCMP declined to talk to us on camera for this story, but they did give us a statement saying they have a zero tolerance policy on harassment of any kind. Peter. All right, Natalie, thanks very much. Natalie Clancy in Vancouver tonight.